All right, I'm going to give a quick rundown of what PlayStation View is. It's one of the latest um, alternatives to cable. It's a standalone streaming service, and it can run on a number of devices. Uh, I'm going to be looking at the Amazon Fire TV. Unfortunately, it's not on Roku yet. Um, and so this demo is through Amazon Fire TV. You can see I'm logged in. Uh, basically gives you three plans, anywhere from 55 channels to over 100. Plans start at 29 all the way 45. The plan I'm looking at is the Core Slim package. It's $34.99. It gives me 66 channels. And you can see I'm diving into it here on Amazon Fire TV. Now, what I like about this is there's no contract, so I can cancel any time. Unlimited DVR. It includes local sports channels, which is awesome, and it's cheaper than cable. So it's a little bit different than Sling TV. It offers a little bit uh, more flexibility channels, and the local sports are key for me, um, which Sling TV, if you've tried that, doesn't offer that. So now when you launch into here, uh, we'll kind of take a look. Okay, so when you launch into it, the first thing it's going to show you is what you were last watching. So that's by default where you you, you start. Uh, apparently it was on the Cartoon Network, I guess. So um, you can move to the right and left. That's the way this menu works. I'm not a big fan in general of the UI. I'll say that. Uh, if you move to the left, it'll show you what you recently watched, what the last channels were you watched. And move to the right, it shows you what's up next for that channel. And then it gives you some other things you might like. In general, it moves up and down. There are menus up and down. Again, I... I find it kind of confusing. It's taken me a while to get used to this, but if you move down, my shows are shows you've recorded. Remember, unlimited DVR, so that's pretty awesome. Um, if you continue down, it'll show you favorite channels, which are channels you can tag as your favorite. So Fox Sports Sun I did, and then it gives me some other recent channels. Finally, you get down to live TV. This will show you per channel what is on right then. So HDTV, I guess, is by default here for some reason. I don't know. And as you move to the right, uh, some channel I can't read, cartoon, FX, and so forth. And it goes all the way until you hit more, and it gives you one big screen. And we'll take a look at that later, but that shows you what's on right now. If you go farther down, uh, it gives you recommended, so it kind of picks, like, I watched a soccer game last night, so it thinks I might like this stuff. And if you go down another one, it shows you featured. I have no idea how they determine this. Cartoon Network, uh, Sleepy Hollow. I mean, I've never watched that show. I don't know how they came up with this, but anyways. Now, if you go all the way back to the top, there's some menu items at the top. Okay, so this is, uh, again, I don't really care if it's UI, but you keep on moving up, and you pop all the way to the top, and finally, these little icons get a little bigger or smaller if you're on them. Search and Guide, I don't ever use these, or Explore. Guide is what I use. That gives you your traditional kind of cable TV guide, where you have uh, a grid, you have channels on the top, you can see channels up the top, time is on the left, and then it puts in focus what is on right now. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, just take a look and see, show you how, the, how, how this works. So I'm going to go find uh, something to, to dive into. I'll just put some sports on, okay, and so inside Marlins, whatever. And you can see what comes up. You see on the bottom, it's got a timeline. Some of these channels you can pause, uh, some you can't. You just push down, and it brings up this kind of menu. Uh, I tried to pause here. It doesn't allow me, so I'm not sure what's up with that. But some channels can, some you can't. Closed caption, and then there's a little icon with a plus that you can add to your favorite. So you could start to record this show if you wanted to. Uh, hit the back button. It brings you back to the menu. And if you keep hitting the back button, it just keeps bringing you back to kind of like the next menu item you're on. I, I don't really, I find it confusing, but I'm kind of used to it now, I guess. So it kind of jumps me back to recently watched, this kind of main menu here, and then I could go down to my shows and that so and so forth. Um, I'm going to go back up to the guide. Okay, so I'm back here at the guide. I just want to show you, you can uh, go into another show. So here's and here's a soccer show. And over at the right, it has add my shows. And if I select that, then it cues it up to be recorded. You can see it's got the little record symbol there. So that's kind of nice. And it's unlimited, so you just queue up anything. And then and now it's going to display in my shows. I have so many shows here set to record. I go more, and it brings up this full page uh, type view. And I can go down at the bottom or somewhere in the middle here, and there's the soccer game. Now, if I want to unrecord it um, at the top right, well, I'll show it in a second here. Kind of up at the top right, there's that checkbox, and I can click and select that. And then it'll say, okay, you sure you don't want to record this? Basically, I say yes. Uh, the other nice thing, I'm, I'm not sure if I show it in here, but in the grid, um, that's different than Sling TV. Is this, in addition to have all of these these channels, it also has some on-demand for ABC, um, 
and CBS. I think there's a couple of NBC on demand. So that's always the trick with these streaming things is they don't show local channels. Of course, you can get those free with an antenna. So that's what I have. I have an antenna. I get ABC, CBS, NBC, Fox, those type of channels for free over uh, my antenna over the air for free in HD, and then a couple with this for 35 bucks, and I have all this. Um, Sling TV is similar, but doesn't have as many channels. It's only 22, and I have used that. So I'll, I'll do a comparison video uh, later, and you'll see that. But this kind of gives you a good idea of uh, PlayStation View. I think it's really great on Amazon Fire TV. It works good. Of course, it's not on Xbox One. It's only on PlayStation, and um, I hope this helps.